Right, it's dry enough to rub off. But press hard, rub hard. There, look at that bicycle. And blow that away. Now we need to start with a very soft colours because these areas need to be covered but not completely obliterated. So I'm putting a soft green wash over the feathery foliage. There we go. Straight down here. And it doesn't matter if it washes over into the dark. It'll just go at a slightly different tone but look quite natural. Flick a little bit in there and around your bicycle and onto the potted plant. And the edges of this flower bed. The next thing we need to do is to put in the roses. So a few blobs of roses over the prepared areas and perhaps some extra areas, just putting them on. A pale blue I'm going to put over the bicycle. Just a little bit of blue. So we're just slightly losing it, but not completely. And then we're putting some pale grey over the area where the mortar has been placed. Not losing it, just a little bit of softness and perhaps some yellow ochre as well. So we've got a variation there of warm and cold. There, so that whole area has been softened and some orange on the top here. So that's slightly warmed up. And put a bit of grey colour onto hair. A little bit on there. A bit of yellow ochre over this corner. So all the areas have been painted over now and we just need to concentrate a bit on the structure of this porch. Mixing some blue and some burnt sienna. So it's a deep, deep brown. And looking hard at my photograph here, I'm going to put in more structure. So we've got a little bit more of a foundation for the porch. A bit of dark there and a bit of dark hair. I love porches because they're all different shapes and sizes and structures. There. And a bit more there. So we've got a nice sharp edge with a bit of greenery going across it. And we've got these areas in behind there. Funny little porch. Here we go. And the edges of these bricks at the back. I'm going to soften this edge just slightly. There we go. Just there. Tissues are very useful things, they are. And I'm going to just put some, just a little bit of greenery. behind here. A little bit of detailing. Soften with your fingers. And just a couple of little lines perhaps down here. and then dab it with a tissue so it's all soft. A little bit of dark there. Just a couple of bit of
bit of details in here. <coughs> bit of dark through the back there. And then we'll call that a day, I think. I hope you enjoyed this project as it demonstrates the many props that you can include in your painting, such as pots, steps, even washing lines, brooms, and the bicycles we've used. Do have a go yourself, and I hope you enjoy it. Now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available to order from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.